welcome to today's class. This is Kenneth K. Hangout. I want to believe you guys are doing very, very fine today. I know mean, one of my subscribers will be like, it's a while they actually see my face on this channel. Okay, it's been a while. This is my face. I miss you guys. I want to believe you guys missed miss me also. So, welcome to the today's class. I have been posting a lot of videos. If you are just watching this YouTube channel for the very first time, kindly click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that when I upload video, you will be notified because every week there is always a video for the week. If you have been, you know, conversant with this channel, there is always a video for the week. So this week, this is the video for the week. I posted a lot of videos, jam bites. There are a lot of videos for you on the channel that you can watch. The exam is, you know, is very, very close and I wish you guys success. But I did a video on app life and a lot of people reached out to me. Thank you for those words of encouragement. Thank you for those motivation. I love you guys. I sincerely appreciate those kind words. But I have some of my subscribers too that reached out to me that they still need me to expand more on how to solve their app life. And that's the reason why I'm sharing my face. So, you know, so that we can have an add to add connection you get. So I'm gonna, uh, I have actually picked some questions from the jam pass questions. So even if you are taking thesis for jam, the radioactivity of the teaching, the half life, you can still use this very particular technique to solve it. Okay. If you are doing chemistry too, you can use this very particular technique to solve it. So just become, see how I'm solving it. You to try questions yourself. It will help you to build the tenacity and the confidence in you so that you'll be able to actually solve those questions. And again, for YX students, if you are writing YX, please stay tuned. I'm going to be sharing the good news at the end of the video. So if you are writing YX too, please make sure you watch this video to the end. And if you are taking jam, pay maximum attention because this is one of the fastest ways to solve radioactivity questions. Don't forget you are time constrained. Okay. So you have to be very smart. You have to be very fast and you have to be very accurate about it. So I'm just, you know, I just picked some questions from jam pass questions from physics. From chemistry, this question, then we look at it together and see how we are going to solve it. So, quickly, let's see. The first question says a radioactive substance has an half life of 20 days. What fraction of the original radioactive nuclei will remain after 18 days? If you remember, I gave a lot of formulas in my video. If you have not watched that video, please, you need to watch it, guys. You need to watch it. But I gave a lot of formulas in the video, but because this is jam, how do we solve it? Let's look at the questions for today very quickly. Plus P, pay maximum attention, guys. Pay maximum attention. Let's do this together so that you'll be confident doing this in the exam. So you are taking physics, you are taking chemistry. You can still use this knowledge to solve those questions. So let's go. A radioactive substance has an half life of 20 days. What fraction of the original radioactive nuclei will remain after 80 days? You know, I gave a lot of formulas. If you have not watched that previous video, go and watch it so that you understand, you know, you know where you are coming from and how we derive this formula. But don't forget, jump, you are time constrained, you have to be quick, you have to be fast, you have to be accurate, right? So very, very important, guys. So let's go now. So how do we solve this? I gave a formula in that video that stages of decay is equal to time taking. Okay? Over what? Over half life. So let's see. The now said a radioactive substance has an half life of 20 days. It's given already. And what? The original of the nuclei will remain after 80 days. Time taking 20 days half life. Can you see? So let's say stages, stages of decay now will be what? What is the time taking now? The time taking is what? Is 80 over what is the half life? 20. So the stages is going to be what? It's going to be four stages. Right? You know that? Look at the options. Now, take note of this now, guys. Take note. Look at the options now. The options is in fraction. So which means I'll be solving in fraction now. So which means the, the nuclear has a stage of four stages. It will declare, it will decay in four stages. So let's go now. Which means the first decay in ratio, in, in fraction, if you remember. So the first decay is going to be half, right? Times the second decay will be half. We are going to four stages, don't forget. The third one is also going to be half. And the fourth stage is going to be what half. 
So we now have this equal to 1. 1 times 1 times 1. That gives us 1. Over 2 times 2, 4. 4 times 2, 8. 8 times 2, 16. You see? So which means after these four stages, the amount in fraction that will be remaining is 1 over 16. Very simple. And where is the answer? A. Very simple. You can see, very simple. And this, the, the reason why we are using this is not like we cannot use other formulas I derived in the first equation to solve. But this is the fastest way because we are time constrained. I want to believe that is clear. So, the answer here is 1 over 16. The amount that will remain is 1 over 16. Now, please take note of this. This will now be the amount that will remain, which means the um, amount has decayed. So, the amount that will remain is 1 over what? Over 16. So, that is the correct answer for number 1. Number 2, now let's go. They said, the time it will take a certain radioactive material with a half-life of 50 days to reduce to 132 of its original number is... Look at that. Look at that. The time. They are now telling us to look for what? The time now. They are now giving us the amount that is remaining. Look at that. The amount that is remaining because they said to reduce to 132 of its original number. So 132 is remaining. If 132 is remaining, how do I solve this? I need to know how many stages. Can you see that now? So you just have to be, you know, you have to be calm. These questions are simple. So for number two, don't forget number, we said our formula is, let me use a shortcut. Stages of decay is equal to time over half-life, right? So I need to know the stage because 132 is remaining. So how many stages will the decay occur? So if I want to know the, the stage, 1 over 32 will now be half times half times half times half times another half. Is that not? Because this will now be 1, 2 times 2, 4, 4 times 2, 8, 8 times 2, 16, 16 times 2, that's 132. Can I see that? So how many stage? The first stage, the second stage, the third stage, the fourth stage, and the fifth stage. So which means for 132 of that atom to be remaining, it must undergo five stages. I want to believe that is clear. So we cannot apply that here. So the stages now is what is five, right? Is equal to time. That's what we are looking for. Over what is the half life? Is given in the question fifty. So that's fifty. So our t will now be five times fifty. So our t will be two fifty days. Can you see that? Where's the question? Where's the answer? I'm not doing magic, guys. It's not magic. You just have to calm down to solve this. You are time constrained. You have to be quick. You have to be accurate. And the fastest way to attempt a radioactivity question is this thing I'm showing you. So I want to believe you should not have problem with half life. Now let's go. Number three. Look at this. Can you see? They have asked us. They are asking us in, in fraction now. Now look at number three. The percentage. Can you see? They are not asking us in percentage. The percentage of the original nuclei of a sample of a radioactive substance left after five half life. So we are going in percentage. So how many will be remaining after five half lives? After five, how many will be remaining? So which means in percentage now, the whole, you know, the whole atom before it decay definitely will be 100, right? So you can now have 100 percent, right? From 100 percent, we move towards 50 percent, right? From 50%, we move to 25%. From 25%, we move to 12.5%, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, 12.5%. From 12.5%, we move to 6.25%. Is that not? We move to 6.25%. So, how many half life? Five half life. So, this is from year to year. That's the first half life. From 100 to 50, first half life. This will be second half life. This will be third half life from this to this fourth. So we are still left with one. So 3.25 from 3.25 divided by 2. Let's do a simple math here. 6.25 divided by 2. So this will be 3, right? Point. That would be around 1, 2. Because you know this is 20, this is 25. So that should be around 1, 2, 5, if I'm not mistaken. You know, because if 6 is here, that would be what? That would be. 23. So because this is 3, this is 1, right? Point, this is 5, okay, that's 2, then it will be remaining 1 like that. So around 3.12. And look at the options 1%, 8%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%, 5%
5%, 3%. So if we take this to all number, our answer definitely will be 3%. And this is the answer. Guys, can you see that? Very simple. So for people that have chatted me, for people that have spoken with me, that they are still finding the reactivity difficult, especially the half life, I want to believe this should clear all confusion. This should give clarification to the way you attempt those questions. So let's take the last one. Let's take the last one. Number four, a radioactive sample. Let, let's take, you know, let's take caution here so that we'll not be picking the, the wrong answer. A radioactive sample initially contains N atoms. After three half lives, the number of atoms that have distinguished. So they are not acting on the amount that is remaining. They are asking us of the amount that has decayed. I want to believe that is clear. So don't just attempt question carelessly. You have to be, you know, you have to beautifully and carefully read the question and understand it so that you interpret it the right way. So what we have been doing since, if you remember, is for this place now we looked for the amount that is remaining. So which means here the amount that is remaining is one over sixteen. Here the percentage that is remaining is around three percent. I don't know if you are getting that. But now they are not asking us the amount that is remaining. They are now asking us the amount that has decayed. But guys, it's still very simple. When you get the amount that is remaining, you can get the amount that has decayed. When you get the amount that has decayed, you can get the amount that is remaining. But read the question so that you know which one are they telling you to calculate. Is it the one that is remaining or the one that has decayed? It's as simple as that. So let's go. A radioactive sample initially contains n atoms. After three half life, that's 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 our own key point. After three half life, the number of atoms that have decayed. So the first thing I will do here is after three half life, let us look for the amount that is remaining. I don't know if you are getting that. Let's look for the amount remaining. So after three half life, don't forget this is in fraction also. So we are solving in fraction. After one half life, you are going to have half. I'm solving number four. After Another one, you are going to have half. And here we have three half life. So times one over two. So this is the first half life. You can see one over two. Second half life, third half life. And this will now be what? One over two times two, four, four times two, eight. Can you see? So one over eight is remaining. In mathematics, when you are dealing with fraction and you want the whole, just like I have 100% here. If I need the whole in mathematics, it's just like it is one. The O in mathematics is one. This N, they are just using it to confuse. It's just like they are saying one because that is the O. So don't forget one over eight. If you are not very careful, you come and pick N over eight. You see that? And you now pick it. You know, you now pick it and say, Oh, I have killed jam. I have made jam that has killed you. <laughs> that is the problem with most of them because if you actually check jam, if you are doing any, you know, calculation work, I've told my students mass physics. You will see that even the wrong answer is there. And that's why from experience, if three students should solve a mathematics question or anything that is mathematically inclined in jam, you will see you will get an answer to be there. Because they know all ways that you can actually solve those solutions to get that answer. So that's why jam is testing your technicality. Jam is testing you being able to comport yourself to answer their question. So imagine one over eight, you go and underline this or that is coming down. Jam will not grieve for you. 2024, you two don't grieve for anybody. Why do I say don't grieve? Don't grieve for jam. So if you don't want to grieve for jam, or God be calming down. So one of our eight now is now the amount that is remaining. So how do I get the amount that has decayed? I can just do one minus one over eight. Very simple. So let's do our primary two mathematics here. Eight. Okay, this will be eight minus this will be one. And that will be 7 over 8. So the amount that has decayed, you can see, this is the amount that has decayed, while this is the amount that is what? Remaining. Okay, so what is the question? The amount that has decayed, distinguished, is what is 7 over 8. That's the answer. This is it. Can you see that? So that is just the answer, guys. That is the answer. So I want to believe this should put, you know, clarifications to any problem we are having as far as half life is consigned in radioactivity. Guys, you know, for you to be good at this thing, I've said that before, ensure to practice. There are past questions for you to practice. There are a lot of things for you to practice. There are a lot of questions online, offline. You just have to practice, and that is it, okay? So, very, very important. Radioactivity is sorted. I did a post yesterday for Jambite. Let me start from Jambite. Why students pay attention to Jambite? I did 
a post yesterday where I said you should suggest the topic you are finding difficult and the highest number of topics that people actually commented will be the topic I'll be doing in my next video. So if you have not seen that post, I'm saying it again. In this very particular comment section, let me have the topic you are finding difficult so that that will be my next video. So the number of people that have the highest vote as by particular topic will be my next video that I'll be shooting. Okay, because jam is imminent, is no, is here already, and I want you guys to do well. So just suggest a topic you're finding difficult in the comment box section. So I will do a count. You know, I'll do, I'll count it. Then when I count it, the highest number of topics there will be my next video. So that's an opportunity for you. That's a privilege for you. You can actually suggest a topic for me that I'll be teaching in my next video. So for Jambite. You can do that so that I will teach you that in my next video. For YX students, now listen, I'm going to be creating a group for YX students because your exam is, you know, you know, is imminent, is here already. And the reason why we are doing this is we want to try as much as possible to carry a lot of students along like we did for Jam. For Jam, we have created a group and we are supplying them with videos on a, on a weekly basis as far as we can do. You know, we are humans too. We can be tired. Okay, we can be tired. Okay. So, but we are still trying our best to supply them a lot of videos so that they'll be comfortable. So, I'll do that for YX. So, if you're a YX student, stay glued to this very particular channel. In a few weeks from now, a lot of YX students have been calling me. In a few weeks from now, they're going to be creating that group. And that group will cater for your biology practical, your physics practical, and your chemistry practical. We have noticed that a lot of students don't really do well in those particles and you know if you can pass the practical you should do well in the exam so we are going to be creating a group for that and it will not only cater for chemistry don't forget chemistry particle will be included biology particle will be included physics particle will be included and we are doing this to make sure you come out in flying colors so if you're a white student stay glued to this channel and i know if you are a good student you should share this very particular channel with your friends we are doing this for everybody so don't be selfish guys you can share this video you know, tell your colleague about this channel so that they can benefit from it. And conclusively, for my co-educators, my chemistry teachers, that you are still finding, you know, some problem or some challenge. Let me use that word. You are still facing challenges as far as preparation of laboratory reagents is imminent. Don't forget that the success of this student too lies in our hands. If you prepare the reagent wrongly, then they are going to be getting wrong values and that will affect their exam. Chemistry teacher, you are seeing this video and you are still having challenges as far as the laboratory reagent is concerned. Check the comment box section. I'm going to drop a link there. Click the link there. If you take it to where you can access the video on how to prepare laboratory reagent. More than 500 chemistry teacher has gotten access to it and the feedback has been, has been mind blowing. All glory. To God. So you are a teacher, you are preparing your student for white, you are preparing your student for NECO, and you are still finding, preparing laboratory reagents, you are still finding it difficult. Just check the comment box section. I'm going to drop a link there so that you can have access to it. You will tell you what to do when you click the link and you have access to the full video. So we'll meet again on this channel. I love you guys. Stay chemically active. This is Chemistry and God. You have not subscribed, click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you will not miss my weekly videos i love you guys thanks for the support thanks for the encouragement i love you guys bye bye thank you